Controversy erupts when an article in the Boston Globe attacks New Jersey relentlessly, talking about Snooky, spray tans, and The Sopranos. Why the attack? Well, this is where President Trump has decided to spend a 17-day break out of the White House. Some are calling it a vacation. I think that's a bit of fake news. He's tweeting, I want to let our panel weigh in a fair attack on New Jersey or not. Serena DeMasso, thanks for being here, member of the Monmouth County County Government. Bob Bianchi, former Morris County Prosecutor and Jim McQueenie, host of New Jersey Now. Guys, thank you for being here. Serena, what do you think? A fair attack? Absolutely not. You know, I am the liaison to tourism in uh, Monmouth yeah. County, and I have to tell you, there is no better place to be than in New Jersey and have a great vacation, the shore, the sun, the fun. It is no reason, how dare they? That's what I said. Really? You don't think any of this was true? I mean, Snooky, Spray Tan, Soprano, they, all this is true. Jim? Have you been to Boston and ever had any good pizza when you're up there? <laughs> I mean, look, Boston has been at us oh. since, since Mookie Wilson's hit went through Bill Buckner's <laughs> legs, right? So this is the way they get back. Nice try. Bob? Now listen, Jersey, everything's better in Jersey. Let's be honest, we all know it. The hot dogs are better, people are happier, they're real, they're direct. Everybody loves the Jersey Shore. But, Bill, let me just give you a little piece of history here. Right. He's not the first president to ever vacation in Jersey. They may have kept it sotto voce or under the radar, but Eisenhower had a home right up in Sussex County with his bomb shelter there, his communications operations. Everyone knows, from all the way from Eisenhower to Trump, that Jersey is the place where so presidents should be. In Monmouth County, there's a park called Seven Presidents Park. And why do you think that is, Bill? Because the presidents came there and vacationed there. So, and we recognize that in Monmouth County government, and we named a park after we, we bought it. It belongs to the county. So, yeah, Jersey's the place to be. Had this not been for the Boston Globe saying it, though, we could have had a different discussion here, because every one of you kind of agrees that nothing they mention makes Jersey look good. You're not going to defend Snooky spray tans in the Soprano state, right? Well, let's not even get into the fact you listen, you're hitting my Italian piece here, okay, Bill? All right. uh, let's forget about the fact that they all came from a different place and they were transplanted in New Jersey. They were being paid to act like maniacs and, and did a very good job with it. And it's that kind of media attention, and I, now I'm going to be serious, that ruins the reputation of Italian Americans throughout the country, and it is not a realistic Yeah, but Jim, 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 he's not hanging out in Belmar, he's hanging out in Bedminster. My <laughs> mother was a Boston Southie, right? Yep. Uh, she moved to New Jersey. Her family disinherited her. Not, not that there was any money to inherit, right? But they disinherited her for going to New Jersey. Wow. My daughter went to Boston College, so we spent a lot of time up there. It's, I'm not saying it's not a beautiful place to go and see, but there's no reason why. And quite honestly, when they go to Martha's Vineyard, it's a very tiny little island. They block up traffic. It's a mess for the people that live there. So I'm sure the people that are in Martha's Vineyard are thrilled that he came to Bedminster instead of going. And like you're gonna get a good cheese, a cheese steak or, or a, a Max's or a hot dog, a great hot dog down the shore like you would up there, right? You know what so works right. in Boston? Their mass transit works. Okay. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Just yeah, saying. Right. Fair Listen, enough. I'm yeah, married right. a New Englander, so the, I am a Patriots and Red the Sox The mass fan transit has marriage. to work because the streets don't, Bill. Yeah. That's it. But the people do. Thank you, guys. <laughs>